Hello and welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I, uh, I'm Jim and I'm sitting here looking at a, uh, a potential short that I wanted to highlight. And uh, this is one of those uh, exercises that I'm, I'm doing to train my brain. This was a perfect short opportunity on Wednesday. And um, it had a lot of context for it. So I want to walk you through that trade and then I'm going to show it to you in a uh, speeded up process so we can watch it develop over time. But let me just walk you through it. So I, uh, the first part of this is we climbed up here and we had some, had a big jump over here over on the left and then we traded in a range for a little while. This was a, this was a clue right here. This was a stop stop run you can see the stop pick so we break high and we come up into the to the uh, previous high of day at this point in time now this was coming into the uh, another previous previous high at the time actually this was the day of but we were coming into this area we had a lot of liquidity but even more important if you uh, have been watching me last couple of days uh, we had watched this area of value, value area high, come down and bounce off of that up into this area. So we knew that we were in balanced conditions yesterday and where were we likely to go to? To the top of this volume node. All right, so we came up to the top of the volume node and, and you can see this candle is the short that I'm gonna show you. So we come up here and we immediately come back now when I looked at this short I'm seeing it's in the high 50s and I'm potentially going well here's the volume point of control down at 40 here's the VWAP coming in at close close to 40 so from here to here that was my potential target so we had a stop pick we pulled back we came up and notice less volume and we traded this way. We had some two-sided trade uh, for a few moments. And then we started to drift lower. So right in this area is when I noticed short potential. And then I started stalking this. So as we can see, this triggering area is what brought that on to us. And we can just see that over 15, 20-minute dump really really fast once it started getting some momentum all right so we'll zoom in so you can see that just a little bit better but lo notice these little balls if you've heard me talk about it little balls little balls little balls big balls little balls so pay attention to the ball size ball size matters all right so we're going to turn this on Watching this at double speed. So this is this is about the area that we're in on that video. Let me change that up here. See that stop pick. Let's move this forward a little bit. I want to do so we can get up here and see how. See that stop run. And as you're watching this, what you want to pay attention to over here is this volume. Let's set this high. We have seven. That's what I'm watching for at this point. It's going to come back into this area. Go back up. Gonna have some two-sided trade. 
but those little highs just keep slowly getting lower until you reach a little bit of a critical mass. We're going to get a little bit further. You can see that pull back. Now, where is it going to pull back? It's going to pull back into this volume node or potentially down into this volume node. This area is where the breakout was. All right, so we have that pullback. Now, this is a key. And watch this. See how it reacts to the pullback area. Now, let's see how it shoots up. Do we have new buying going on here? Do we have a lot of new buying? Let's pay attention to the ball size. Ball size is critical. Oh, there's a clue. Big seller came in. Where did it come down to? The volume. Here's another clue. Now we need a trigger. Now one thing I, as we come up underneath that, one thing that I, I've noticed a whole lot is that we'll get flushes and then we'll have like a, a rubber band effect on, uh, on the S&P 500 a lot. See this two-sided trade. And this gives you a clue. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. We take into context what we're at. We're at the high of the day. We, we potentially have got buyer's exhaustion going on here. We see little balls versus big balls. So there's a very big potential for this. Now we do know that above this, this is why it's a scary short, above this there's stops. Why are there stops up there? Well, at the time, you could be shortened up here. If it jumps up here, you're going to have that. And if we noticed, if you watch a preview video from today, you notice overnight we had a monster shoot up due to short covering because we came outside of that volume area. happens see if we get above this once again we know we know there's some potential short stops up here sell stop or buy stops when you see big runs like that generally that's some that's a short-term stop run somebody's got a tight stop maybe been this short over here a little too early to the party zoom out kind of get a better picture notice over here with our overhead previous high of day up here too we pass that a little bit so we had that Short trigger there, short trigger there. So you you could start stalking an entry. At least I would. Hearing about that that high a day there. That's always something I I like to see the big flush and then come down. But you don't always get that. So I'm looking for these triggers, and we'll. We'll keep a tighter leash on this, knowing that there's stops above here, because you can always re-enter. But this, at this location, we're on the outside edge of everything, and we were on, at this time, we were at the top of this range. And we just came into it during the uh, cash session. 
So first time we come up to hit it, and we had a pretty responsive selling there. As you see, this continues through lunch, but we're at the top. Notice this trend coming down. Notice that we're we keep coming down to this volume area. You know, all we need to do is get below this volume area and then boom, what's the next step? Down to this volume area and then boom, where's the next step? Down to this one. So it's all about structure. And we can see that we're falling out of the structure. We haven't hit this stop pick yet. Still got this, so this could potentially still be up here. I'm aware of that. That's why it might, might enter here. And if we get stopped out, we'll enter once we get into the 60s, potentially, or not. You know, once again, this day we were in balance, and this day was about a mean reversion trade. So that's where we went with that. So if you can see that short develop in real time, this video is made so you can train your brain to see those things. Put the pieces together. We had location here, potential, stopped location, right? We had some potential overhead that we didn't hit. But this, this mean reversion is a very good risk reward because if we went above that, we're out really quick. I hope that helps. Appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up and a and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. Thanks again.